is KOCO5, Oklahoma City. Now, KOCO5 News Commitment 2014. Welcome back to Commitment 2014. You are looking live at Governor Mary Fallon. Governor Mary Fallon being reelected to a second term, just giving her lieutenant governor a big hug, talking to people as she makes her way there on the stage. We're about to hear from the governor as she takes the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. God bless you. Well, thank you, Oklahoma. Thank you. We have got a large family coming up on the stage, so I appreciate all my family joining me here today. Now, first of all, thank you to Lieutenant Governor Todd Lamb. He has done a great job as Lieutenant Governor, and congratulations to Lieutenant Governor Lamb for another four years. <laughs> we appreciate you. Now, I want to say a couple of thanks to a lot of people. First of all, as a woman of faith, I know I wouldn't be here without the power and the strength of God Amen. and the prayers of all the Oklahomans that have come up to me on the last couple of months, over the last couple of years, and told me they've been praying for me. So for all of you that have said you've prayed for me, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. It's given me a lot of strength. But I also wouldn't be here without the people of Oklahoma. And I always tell everybody, our greatest asset in the state of Oklahoma is the people of Oklahoma. They're wonderful. So thank you for all being here tonight. You know, when I was elected as governor in the year 2011, I promised the people of Oklahoma that we were going to get Oklahoma back on its feet, that we were going to continue to restore our finances, to help build stronger families and a stronger economy, and that we were going to create jobs in our state. And that's exactly what we've been working on for the last four years. I promised that we were going to put Oklahomans back to work. I promised that we were going to stand up to Washington, D.C. anytime they had some type of bad policy it might hurt our families or might hurt our economy. I promised that we were going to focus on making government right size, eliminating government waste, and prioritizing our spending in the state of Oklahoma. And we've done that here in the state of Oklahoma. And today we've proven that with our results tonight. Now, with the help of our legislators, legislators, our conservative legislators, and the people of Oklahoma, and all of our other elected officials in this room, we have balanced the state budget. When I took office four years ago, $500 million short. We had $2.03 in our bank account. We had a 7% unemployment rate, and we had tens of thousands of Oklahomans that were out of work. And so we set about in the state of Oklahoma to create an environment that would be friendly to our small businesses so that they could expand and grow and create jobs, that we could have fair rules and regulations so that we'd make Oklahoma a great place to be able to invest and create job opportunities. And we say we're going to work on creating a stronger, educated workforce in the state of Oklahoma. So when we returned our economy around, we were able to put in $180 million new dollars back into education, but we had to restore the economy first to do that, and we did that. And we also said that we were going to stand up for Oklahoma's rights and our state rights. And so we fought hard any time the federal government overstepped its boundaries and tried to force bad policy down upon Oklahoma. We stood up for Oklahoma's conservative values, and I'm very, very proud of that. And so the results have been that now we've moved from that 7% unemployment rate down to a 4.4% unemployment rate. The fourth fastest growing economy in the nation is Oklahoma. And that $2.03 that we had in our bank account and our savings account has now grown to over a half a billion dollars in savings, proving that conservative principles really do work in our state. 
and we have put tens of thousands of Oklahomans back to work, creating over 102,000 new jobs in Oklahoma's economy. And we're also one of the top 10 states that people are moving to Oklahoma to find a great place to live and work and to raise a family. That's the type of results you get from conservative leadership. And it's not only been myself, but I got to thank all the other elected officials that have worked so hard to create the right environment in our state. It's taken a lot of effort by a lot of different people. Certainly want to thank Lieutenant Governor Lamb, who has been our small business advocate for our state, our other statewide elected officials that have helped us move Oklahoma's economy along. We appreciate all of them. Speaker Hickman, President Pro Tem Bingman, thank you for your leadership in the House and Senate. We appreciate that also. But more importantly, tonight wouldn't be possible without the love and support of my friends, my family, the thousands of volunteers that have helped us across the state. You've made this happen tonight. You're welcome. He's thanking me for a lot of things up here. Thank you. God bless you. And I have to start out by thanking a lot of people here tonight. First of all, I want to thank the voters and the people of Oklahoma. I can't tell you how honored I am, sincerely appreciative I am, to have the opportunity to be able to represent the greatest state in the nation, and that is Oklahoma. I thank you for your confidence. I thank you for allowing me this wonderful opportunity. And then, of course, I have to thank my wonderful family. And I have a big family up here. I have my direct family and then my extended family. But all the people you've seen up here have given me their love and their support. You have been listening to Governor Mary Fallon for her acceptance speech, second term. Turn, taking credit, turning the economy around, thanking God, thanking voters. And we had heard earlier that she was not going to give the speech until she heard a concession from Joe Dorman. We can only assume that has happened. We are waiting to hear his concession.